Ah, uh, yes, paintings. Introduced in 2010, paintings were an addition to Minecraft that allowed you to spruce up your Minecraft homes, your walls, wherever you wanted to place them, really. And with 30 options available to you, painting wise, between Minecraft PC Edition and Pocket Edition, you've got some choices, baby. But how much do you really know about paintings? Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here, and welcome to a fun, factual video about some interesting things you may not know about paintings in Minecraft. First of all, if you don't know what paintings are in general, well, it's a Minecraft item you can place on your walls to decorate your home, wherever you want, really. I always, I always go back to home because, you know, you usually put paintings in homes. There are 26 paintings available in the PC version of Minecraft and four available in the Pocket Edition of Minecraft. But... Did you know they're actually based off of real paintings? Did you know that some of the paintings have actually been changed over Minecraft's game development cycle? Did you know how to make them? Well, it's simple enough to make. This is how you make each one. Bada boom, bada bing. Does not matter what color wool you use. That's how you grab yourself a painting. In this video, I'm going to be telling you some interesting facts and information about paintings that you may not be aware of. So if you enjoy this video and you want to see more informational videos or factual videos on the channel, then do make sure you drop a like rating on the video. It means so much to have your support for the channel. Of course, be subscribed so you can see those videos when they come out. And without further ado, let's get into the facts. The date is February 23rd, 2010. In dev. That's right. Back when Minecraft used to look like this. Or this. Or even when this girl was roaming around. <laughs> but more on her some other time. Notch decided to spice up Minecraft by adding 19 different paintings to the game. But who was the artist behind these paintings? Well, it was none other than Stockholm's Royal University College of Fine Arts and Notch's former brother-in-law, Christopher Zettestrand. Known for his interesting artwork that mixes classical style inspiration with modern day pixelated goodness, he was the perfect candidate for Minecraft's paintings. And boy, did you have to pay a pretty penny for your precious paintings. <laughs> Say that five times fast. The original painting recipe required planks instead of sticks. And thank goodness that was changed because I would never drop eight planks for one painting. Uh-uh. As Minecraft continued to grow and develop, so did the amount of paintings available within game, growing to a final amount of 25. That, however, is where Zetterson's contributions end, as ultimately Notch and his wife eventually separated, thus presumably ending the relationship between him and his brother-in-law, Zetterstrand. However, there was one final painting that was added in Minecraft 1.4.2, known as the pretty scary update, introducing the Wither and this totals the amount of paintings in the PC version to 26. One interesting thing to note though is the 26th painting of The Wither is the only one not based off of one of Zetterstrand's actual paintings. Oh, you didn't know? That's right. All the paintings in Minecraft except The Wither one are based off of actual paintings. Here is a brief overview of each one. The first on this list is Kebab, a one by one painting based off of the original Kebab Me Tre Pepperoni. This painting is of a delicious kebab containing three ripe green chili peppers right inside. Up next is Aztec, another one by one painting based off of the Aztec. And it's actually based on a level from Counter-Strike known as the Aztec. This next one is called Albin, another one-by-one one painting based off of the painting Albanian. It's a painting of a man wearing a fez in a desert-type land that stood right next to a house and a bush. Now, the painting might suggest that it's somewhere in Albania. However, Albania is mostly a snowy place and there's no deserts there. So, this probably isn't Albania. In addition, there is another painting known as Aztec 2 that is just a free look perspective of the map from the same game, Counter-Strike. Up next is Bomb, another one-by-one one painting based off of Target successfully bombed, which is based off of another map from Counter-Strike, known as De Dust 2. This one-by-one one painting is simply known as Plant, and it's based off the painting Paradistrad, which is a still-life painting of two plants in pots. Now, Paradistrad, and I'm probably totally butchering that word, is Swedish for Paradise Tree, and it's a common name for a depicted species in Scandinavia. The final one-by-one one painting currently in Minecraft is Wasteland, and it's based off the painting Wasteland, and it's a painting of some wastelands. Up next is the first one by two painting known as Wanderer, based off of the painting Wanderer. It's a painting of a man with a walking stick traversing some rocky plains. One interesting thing to note is that most of this painting is cropped out in Minecraft. You actually only see the man instead of the landscape as well. 
The second and final 1x2 painting is Graham, based off of Graham. Well, you see in the pattern here, <laughs> it's a small picture of King Graham, which is a player character in the King's Quest series. The first of the 2x1 paintings is Pool, based off of The Pool. <laughs> It's some men and women skinny dipped, and oh, no wonder it's so pixelated, in a pool right over a cube of some sort. And there's an old man hanging out as well. Thank goodness this one's pixelated. The next 2 by one painting is Courbet, known as Bonjour Monsieur Courbet. It's two hikers with pointy beards greeting each other. They kind of look the same, man. I'm starting to see some patterns here. And the painting is based on the realist painter Gustave Courbet's 1854 painting of the same title. The next 2 by one is called Sunset, based off of Sunset Dense, and it is a picture of mountains at sunset. Now this next 2 by one painting has seen three different iterations during its life cycle through Minecraft. It is known as Sea, and it's based off the painting Seaside. It's a painting of a view of mountains and a lake, with a small photo of a mountain and a dual colored plant on a windows ledge. Early on in Minecraft Alpha 1.1.1, the original painting was actually replaced by a new version of it that had a more colorful plant. In addition, one of the painting's variations contains a creeper head instead of a plant. So if you thought they looked like the same painting or close to it, it's because they were. The first of the 2x2 two two paintings is Match, based off of Match. And it's a hand holding a match, which is causing a pixelated fire. Now, what's really cool about this one is it is a good combination of both realism and the pixelation that Zetterstrand was known for. The next 2x2 two two painting is a perfect example of that as well. It is of a bust, and it is based off of a painting of the same name, Bust. And it's a painting of a statue, Bust, surrounded by a pixelated fire. Our next 2x2 two two painting has also seen a variation throughout its life cycle in Minecraft. It's called Stage, and it's based off of The Stage is Set. It's a painting of some scenery from a game known as Space Quest 1, and it features the character Graham from King's Quest, aka the painting from earlier. Now in Alpha 1.1.1, this was replaced by a second image featuring a larger spider. Scary. This next 2x2 two two painting is called Void, based off of The Void, and it's a painting of a lovely angel praying into what appears to be a void with some pixelated fire below. Perhaps this is our guardian angel that makes sure the bottommost layer of bedrock is completely covered. Nobody wants to fall into the void. Now this 2x2 two two painting is called Skull and Roses and it's based off the painting Moonlight Installation. Now the original painting for this is very different if you couldn't tell. It has a woman sitting on a couch and the skull is in the middle of a body of water whereas in Minecraft it's simply a painting of a skeleton at night with some red flowers in the foreground. This last 2x2 two two painting is Wither, and it's not based off of any painting, which is the only one like it in Minecraft. Every other painting is based off of a real one, but this one is not. This one was actually drawn by one of the Minecraft developers themselves for the Wither update, and is the only painting currently in Minecraft that Zedestrin had no part of. Now this next painting, Fighters, is very unique to Minecraft because it is the only painting currently within the game that has a 4x2 space, and it's based off the painting Fighters, and it features two pixelated paper men getting ready to brawl, baby. It's originally from the game International Karate Plus. Yes, the Yes, there's a plus at the end. The first of the two 4x3 paintings, known as Skeleton, is based off of Mortal Coil, and it's a painting of a, quote, mean midget, end quote, from the adventure game Grim Fandango. And of course, the second 4x3 painting, my personal favorite, is known as Donkey Kong, based off the painting Kong, which is based off of the Nintendo game, arcade game specifically, Donkey Kong. And it's a paper-looking screenshot of the 100-meter level from the original Donkey Kong game. Our final three paintings are all 4x4 four four blocks. This one is called Pointer, based off the painting Pointer, and is a painting of the main character from the classic Atari game, International Karate, plus, you know, from earlier, fighting a large hand. Some argue that it could also be representative of the two hands touching as seen in Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. The next 4x4 four four painting is Pig Scene, based off of RGB, and this is a painting of a girl that is pointing to a pig on the canvas. However, in the original version, as you can see here, the canvas actually shows red, green, and blue blocks, representing the three main colors of the RGB color model that is normally used in computers. And the last painting on this list is Burning Skull. Yes, I had to say it like that, okay? And it's based off the painting Skull on Fire. It is a skull on a pixelated fire. In the background, you can see the Minecraft moon there in a clear night sky. Now this one screams to me Minecraft more than any of the other paintings. It, it looks like it was pretty much 
much made for Minecraft, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Now, a noteworthy version here is that I did mention that there were 30 total paintings located between PC and Pocket Edition. Now, these last four are very interesting. They are two by two blocks each, and their names are Earth, Water, Air, and Fire, and they are elements. They are paintings of the elements. However, there is not really a way to access them, but they are referenced in the Pocket Edition game code, and if you were to go into the game code on the Android version, you would be able to see that these are actually within the game. The artist and the purpose of these paintings are currently unknown. And two final fun facts to end off the video. On April 26th, 2011, Notch has stated that there was auto mapping code that was going to be used to share custom paintings and books in the future. While that update never came out, one could speculate that the fact that you can now place maps into item frames to kind of act as paintings is the closest thing we ever got to that. Finally, on multiplayer servers, if a player is standing behind a painting, you actually will not be able to see their username above their head, whether they're sneaking or not. Oh, and you can use paintings for secret doorways. But come on, you knew that, right? All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video on paintings in Minecraft. Once again, I do hope you enjoyed. If you do and you want to see more fact-based videos on the channel, then like I said, if you could drop a like on the video, it means so much to have your support. I spent a lot of time making this video, and I hope you did enjoy it. So if you did, you should be subscribed to my channel for future Minecraft videos made in a similar fashion to this. Hope you have a great day, and we will see you later.